The 13th chapter, Resisting Temptation. So long as we live in this world, we cannot escape suffering and temptation. Whence it is written in Job, the life of man upon earth is a warfare. Everyone, therefore, must guard against temptation and must watch in prayer, lest the devil, who never sleeps but goes about seeking whom he may devour, find occasion to deceive him. No one is so perfect or so holy, but he is sometimes tempted. Man cannot be altogether free from temptation. Yet temptations, though troublesome and severe, are often useful to a man, for in them he is humbled, purified, and instructed. The saints all passed through many temptations and trials to profit by them. While those who could not resist became reprobate and fell away, there was no state so holy, no place so secret that temptations and trials will not come. Man is never safe from them as long as he lives, for they come from within us. In sin we were born. When one temptation or trial passes, another comes. We shall always have something to suffer because we have lost the state of original blessedness. Many people try to escape temptations only to fall more deeply. We cannot conquer simply by fleeing. But by patience and true humility, we become stronger than all our enemies. The man who only shuns temptations outwardly and does not uproot them will make little progress. Indeed, they will quickly return more violent than before. Little by little, in patience and long-suffering, you will overcome them. By the help of God, rather than by severity in your own rash ways, often take counsel when tempted. And do not be harsh with others who are tempted, but console them as you yourself would wish to be consoled. The beginning of all temptation lies in a wavering mind and little trust in God. For as a rudderless ship is driven hither and yon by waves, so a careless and irresolute man is tempted in many ways. Fire tempers iron and temptation steals the just. Often we do not know what we can stand, but temptation shows us what we are. Above all, we must be especially alert against the beginnings of temptation, for the enemy is more easily conquered if he is refused admittance to the mind and is met beyond the threshold when he knocks. Someone has said very aptly, resist the beginnings. Remedies come too late. When by long delay the evil has gained strength. First a mere thought comes to mind. Then strong imagination followed by pleasure, evil delight, and consent. Thus, because he is not resisted in the beginning, Satan gains full entry. And the longer a man delays in resisting, so much the weaker does he become each day while the strength of the enemy grows against him. Some suffer great temptations in the beginning of their conversion, others toward the end, while some are troubled almost constantly throughout their life. Others again are tempted, but lightly according to the wisdom and justice of divine providence, who weighs the status and merit of each and prepares all for the salvation of his elect. We should not despair, therefore, when we are tempted, but pray to God the more fervently that he may see fit to help us. For according to the word of Paul, he will make issue with temptation that we may be able to bear it. Let us humble our souls under the hand of God in every trial and temptation, for he will save and exalt the humble in spirit. In temptations and trials, the progress of a man is measured. In them, opportunity for merit and virtue is made more manifest. When a man is not troubled, it is not hard for him to be fervent and devout. But if he bears up patiently in time of adversity, there is hope for great progress. Some, guarded against great temptations, are frequently overcome by small ones in order that, humbled by their weakness in small trials, they may not presume on their own strength in great ones.